your Magento product page. I'm also going to remove this shopping cart uh, number, the price that I added earlier. So we're going to start off by going to the back end of your site and adding an attribute. Okay, from your back end we go up to catalog and we're going to go down to attributes then we're going to go over to manage attributes and click on that. Alright, down here we can scroll down and we're going to uh, create a new attribute that's just like this name attribute. So go up to the right, click on add new attribute. In the attribute code, type in subtitle, lowercase s. Uh, we're going to keep everything pretty much this as it is. Um, we don't want to have a required value so that some pages don't need it. Um, and I do want to have it in quick search and advanced search so that you can search by the subtitle for my store. And then yes to allow HTML tags on front end and from there you should be pretty good. All right, now we're going to go up to Manage Label Options, and then we are going to type in a subtitle with a capital S in the Admin box, and click Save Attribute. All right, next we're going to edit the attribute set. So go back up to Catalog, go down to Attributes, and go to Manage Attribute Sets. Uh, you're going to click on Default, and then you can see the new attribute subtitle and unassigned attributes and we just want to grab that and pull that over under name so it's the second line in our back end. Uh, click save attribute set and that's all we need to do in the back end for now. Um, if you go back over to your product page, go to catalog manage products down to your product page uh, you can see there's a line for a subtitle now, and that's what we want. All right, for the subtitle to actually show up on your product page, we're going to need to make some adjustments to the view.phtml file. So we're going to go into our hosting account to where our files are. Um, so open up your root documents. You're going to find apps, then design then front end, then default, then your template if you have one, if not default, then template, then you're going to find catalog and product, Then there's the view.phtml that we want to edit. So you double click on that or click download and open that up. Um, I actually use a um, thing called Easy Tabs uh, extension. And so the file I'm going to edit is a little different. I'm going to go back a couple and I threw the, it's a called Easy Tabs. And then in that folder I'm going to add it the catalog product views.phtml, so that's the one I'm going to download and edit, but it's the same as the view.phtml. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I'm using Dreamweaver to edit. You can use whatever program you like. Um, and I'm going to scroll down and look for a file, uh, some line of code that has the product name. So here it is. Mine, it's in line 55. This is product name. Um, I'm going to take that code, the whole little section there, PHP code, um, with the header. I'm going to copy it. So, go down and copy. And then in just the next little section, I'm going to make some space here. Um, I'm just going to paste it again. So basically I'm calling up the name two times in a row, which actually not what I want to do but it's pretty close and since I'm not a code editor I'm not going to write new code I'm just going to adjust what's there so I'm going to change the name part or anywhere where it says name to subtitle and use the same capital lowercase parts so uh, in those three areas I'm changing name to subtitle oh actually yeah three three times so 
uh, paste that there and then this next section here is where it calls up that price which I don't want there anymore so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that and then the last thing I want to do while I'm here is actually edit that subtitle line a little bit more so that I can do HTML in the subtitle uh, because right now there's some code that's prohibiting this I need to delete the money sign this HTML escape part I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that and that will allow me to actually um, add HTML in the subtitle line and I'm doing this because I want to be able to make each subtitle uh, unique to each product so I can add different HTML for different products alright from there I need to save this so I'm gonna go to file and then save as um, I'm gonna save it in my modified files um, so that I do still have the original in case I made any other changes that did something I didn't want it to do um, I'll have the original as well that I can revert back to so here we go um, just save it as it is and I'm not gonna update the links so I click no there alright now I need to upload that uh, view.phtml file that I just edited so I'm gonna go back to the uh, page that I downloaded it from click upload uh, click browse files um, I'm gonna find where I just saved it um, here's the modified files and there's my catalog product views yours, uh, yours may just be views.html phtml and click upload click yes to overwrite there we go um, I'm gonna go back to my front end click refresh and you can see that area disappeared um, no subtitle yet because I never added one in the back end on my Magento site so really quick I'm gonna wanna re-index my data um, it's giving me a little notice here that I should do that anyway so you can click on that or click over to system um, index management uh, right here there's a couple of red things but I'm just gonna go select all and click uh, submit on re-index and that should uh, re-index my data and you might want to flush your Magento cache as well um, but we're gonna go from there to our product page alright let's add a subtitle to our page and see what happens so I'm gonna put a little subtitle tags that I want in there and I'm gonna click save and continue edit or just save doesn't matter um, then I'm gonna go to my front end after I do that and refresh my product listing page so here it is without the subtitle click refresh and there the subtitle is now I can go back and edit HTML I'm gonna probably make it a little smaller maybe make those dashes into some dots and put a space in front but I can do all that with HTML in that subject line alright I went ahead and made the changes here's my finished subtitle it's a little smaller um, made those changes and we're done I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, to see future tutorials um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below alright thanks for watching